One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Uh, give it a try. Is that to be good for a chuckle or two? Fair enough. Do, 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 do. Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time we gained a sword, a kick-ass telescope, and some shit-caked pants. Today we are going to go in here and try to save the strange girl who has been abducted by a giant bird, which I mistakenly believed was a delivery bird. This is a story I probably shared on the channel before. This actually reminds me of something uh, kind of neat from my childhood. I was wearing one of those hoodies, like a pullover hoodie with the middle pocket that goes all the way through, and climbing a very tall tree. And I fell from that tree, at the very top of it, and probably would have died or been injured from the fall, because I was a very small child and it was a very tall tree. I actually uh, can go and look at that tree right now, it still stands to this day. But uh, yeah, and a branch just happened to go right through the pocket and caught me. So I didn't hit the ground. That is, uh... I assume... Hylia looking out for me? No, my child, you cannot die here. You must spend your money on Nintendo games. You are destined for it. Take that, Moblin. You could not defeat me! Ooh, it dropped one of the orbs. Hello. If you keep doing that, the branch is gonna break and... Ah, uh, this is what I was trying to warn you about. How are you doing? Oh, who's that? Who's that? Get up. Oh, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. The giant bird came in. Miss... Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. But I saw you get dropped on this summit. I love for sure you'd. You... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain. Oh, wasn't that nice of it? Oh, look, just stand there, let's go. Time to repair that bird and fall. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Okay, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. How do I didn't get to collect the loot orb that dropped? Hey, big brother! Hell, what are you doing up here? It's not safe. Look out, there's a hole in the bridge. Mary, no! Okay. Aliens don't believe in gravity. Ah, oh, stupid kid. You hold yourself. He's gone. There is nothing you can do. Let go of me. I can run on the air. to come with us on our ship. You understand what they're asking? We're pirates in the... Pirates! The terror of the seas! What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A herrick. I know how you must feel if their sister haven't been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? 
Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Just who are you? Where do you get up butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Noah here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? What What do you mean, is this true? Who the fuck else was there when you woke up? I was standing right beside you. Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Noah's sister has made its foul nest to the north of the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? The very same. Isn't that the place where? So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Noah a little help, now would it? Hmm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. It's in the bloody name. You can possibly- you can't possibly mean to go there with nothing about that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has has something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect itself with. Anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stay away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. We are better say your goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy eyed and homesick on me. Okay. Do, 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 do. Long way my grandmother also told me we have a shield. Hello there. Uh, yeah. She got kidnapped by a bird. It's a bird, motherfucker. It's a bird. Hi, Gam Gam. What is it, Noah? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's that? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? Ooh, Grandma. I'm gonna break your little heart. The shield is gone. So... I was fucking with you. I knew what happened the whole time. Is this what you're looking for? Maybe. Take it with you. You've got the hero shield. This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold Zer to defend yourself while holding the sword. Move around if you defend while targeting. I guess it's true. Earl really has been kidnapped, ha hasn't she? What kind of monster it takes such a sweet young child? A literal giant bird monster.
I'm sorry, Gam Gam. Oh, I'll... I'll get her back, don't you worry. Oh, onwards we roam. I'm back, I brought a shield. Does that mean I can join the cool kids club? Oh, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Oh, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? God, every single song in this game just hits so hard. It is amazing. I love everything about Wind Waker. It's just a damn near perfect game, I'd say. Good luck, Noah. Good luck, Finding Arrow. Take care of yourself. How much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. It's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take it back to the island? Oh god, the pirate music is so good too! Ah, I love this game so much. Alright, I need to talk to Nico Nico Ni! Hello there! Hey, hey! Oh, well now, hey there, Swabby! How's it today? <laughs> I am your superior Nico! I promise I'll go easy on ya! So you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test. All new parents have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm able to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Well, at least he's being, uh, straightforward. First off, you have to press the switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt la. Just step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Hey, hey! Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Impressive. Okay, so I was able to jump to the first one myself. The next one is too far, right? That's where you gotta do this! It jumps right out of the rope. You can grab onto it and use lot to swing until you get close enough to the next platform and then press add to let go and jump to it. What do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while so you don't get there by the time they drop. You have to start over. Ta! Ta! It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. 
Uh, give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. I didn't press the switch, I failed, I'm sorry. But you did it already. I I I'm proud to have you as my as my underling. I I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not, so I did all get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Sorry I didn't take it before someone comes. You got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from the enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight kinds of items. Press Y, X, or R. Apologies, press Yux or R on the item screen to see what's inside. Hey, no! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurrying up here! Alrighty. Thanks for the help, Nico. Much appreciated. Because that, I can collect night belts, and with the night belts, I can learn new sword attacks. Oh, what a wonderful day this has been! Ouch, I rolled into the stair. Do do do. Ah, uh, look at that beautiful moon. Yeah, this game is so nice. I love it. I'm glad I decided to play the HD one on the channel. I just look so happy. What are you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you're playing some stupid game for treasure, are you? Oh, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's a cursed style known as Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. I do know that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. They are just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, and Nut, look out! Over there! Madadunda! Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's in place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is on a really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got in there and you land in there. Hmm... What do we do now? Yeah. Everyone should do themselves a favor after watching this and go look up Link's Barrel Beats. It is an amazing video <laughs> and I love it. it. It remixes his little struggle sound here into a song. <laughs> It is just so good. <laughs> Look, don't struggle. We all really want to get in that dangerous place like that. This is the only way to do it, trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it, it'll be a piece of cake. Everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you. We're gonna launch you good. Two! One! I regret everything! 
Oh, got another minion out the window. Just saying, for that distance and using a catapult, that was pretty damn accurate. I get full credit for that. And then I drowned. And that's the end of the game. Thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, that's how this game ends. We just die. So we're gonna. Let's get it. I'm fine. Wah! I sort of landed it all the way up there. Shit, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> Look on your face. Priceless. What the hell did you do? How am I alive? <laughs> I slipped the stone into the pocket just before we fairly over there. It's not ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through the stone. Obviously, you can hear me through it. So, if you see ah, you better press that button. I put the stone on our quest status screen. Use on the item screen to look, take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you'll save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Alright then, down the brass tax. The courtyard is awash with searchlights. So they'll see you right away if you'll just go charging in. Better think it through. Alright, I'm actually going to end this episode here. And then we'll take on the Forsaken Fortress in the next one. I know this entire episode is just me reading stuff on the pirate ship, basically, but, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope each and every one of you has a fantastic day. Please make good choices. And take care. Bye-bye.